Today we're speaking with Dr. Joan Brugge, Chair of the Department of Cell Biology at Harvard Medical School. She is the AACR Annual Meeting Program Committee Chair. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. We're gearing up for the 2011 Annual Meeting. What has you the most excited about the meeting this year? Well, I'm most excited about the scientific sessions that we've organized for this meeting. The program Committee and I were literally overwhelmed by suggestions for session topics by member subcommittees. It was very difficult to prioritize the topics for the final selections. There are many areas of cancer research that are literally blossoming and bringing new concepts to our understanding of cancer development. Studies of the tumor microenvironment, tumor heterogeneity, tumor cell stress adaptation, tumor immunity, even exosomes, which is a new concept that will be discussed um, in several talks at the meeting. In addition, the initial analysis from um, several large-scale efforts to sequence the human genomes and to provide other types of omics type analysis of whole tumor proteins, lipids, and DNA will be presented. And most importantly for cancer patients, the labors of the whole cancer community to understand this beastly disease are bearing fruit, both with respect to the development of drugs that target the alterations that drive tumor proliferation and survival, as well as therapies to mount an immune response to the tumor cells. So we've tried to capture these areas in the major symposia and new concepts in organ site um, research sessions. What are some of the new features of the meeting program? What differentiates this meeting from years past? Well, we're actually preserving some of the key changes that were made in last, by last year's organizers. So one that was endorsed overwhelmingly by AACR members was opening each morning with an unopposed plenary session that covers major developments in cancer research that are of interest to the whole. AACR community. These sessions created a strong sense of community as each day started. One of the changes that we made this year uh, to feature young scientists more prominently was to change the schedule of the mini symposia. In past years, the mini symposia were concurrent with major symposia and the current topics in organ site research. This year, the mini symposia will not compete with these sessions in order to provide more exposure to trainees and junior faculty in the AACR community. We're also diligently attempting to bring new faces to the major sessions and to avoid double or triple talks by individual investigators to provide greater exposure of more people and more science at the meeting. Would you tell us about the breadth of science we can expect to see this year? Sure. Um, the breadth of science and the nature of the activities that are covered at the annual meeting are enormous. The research scope of the meeting includes basic cell and molecular biology, studies of fundamental cellular processes that are critical for tumor initiation and progression. But we also cover epidemiologic studies of genetic and environmental risk associated with cancer. In addition, the meeting also covers research aimed, toward, aimed towards translation of basic findings to address their clinical relevance. And then vice versa, we also hear about studies from the analysis of human tumors that motivate basic investigations of the underlying basis of tumor behavior. And then lastly, findings from clinical trials provide the community and the public with information of the direct relevance to cancer patients. There are several types of sessions in which investigators report on the latest findings from their laboratories. This includes the major symposia, the mini symposia, and another session called the News Concepts in Organ Site Research, which focuses on individual types of cancer. Another very important component of the annual meeting are the education sessions. These are designed to provide an overview of all the research in key areas of cancer and to highlight new technologies as well. Another popular type of session is called the Meet the Expert. Now, during this session, a single investigator discusses the research in his or her laboratory for a full hour. These commonly have much smaller audiences um, of attendees. Many of the most distinguished investigators participate in these sessions. We also have multiple sessions referred to as forums, where controversial issues in cancer research are presented by a panel of investigators and then open to the audience for discussion. There are also many sessions for professional development as well. And then lastly, the annual meeting provides attendees with sessions relating to public policy, where important policy issues relating to all areas of cancer are discussed. The late-breaking abstract deadline is January 27th. What kinds of abstracts are you encouraging? Well, as the name implies, we're looking for abstracts describing studies that were not quite ready for communication at the time of the first abstract deadline, but that represent highly significant findings. This vehicle is really important for the vitality of the annual meeting 
because it ensures that the most recent findings at the forefront of research are presented at the meeting. Also, as a further mechanism to allow dissemination of findings from clinical trials or other cancer research projects that are late-breaking, we've also instituted placeholder abstracts, which can be used to reserve space for studies which only preliminary data are available at the time of the late-breaking abstract deadline, which is Thursday, January 27th. Dr. Brugge, thank you so much. You're welcome.